Hello, and welcome to Coffee and Information. Today we're going to try to figure out how a touchless soap dispenser works. Uh, my wife and I enjoy the convenience of these automatic foaming soap dispensers, and we've been through a lot of them. This one's our favorite so far. The brand name is unpronounceable and may not be around for long, but uh, you can find a link to buy one in the description. Uh, if you do a search on how touchless soap dispensers work, you won't get a clear answer, but there seem to be three types which are active radio frequency, or RF, active infrared, or IR, or passive IR. So active RF works the same way as radar, by emitting a burst of radio waves and measuring the reflection, in this case off your hand. Active IR works the same way as active RF, but instead of radio waves, it uses infrared light. And passive IR just senses the infrared radiation from your body heat. So with two experiments, we should be able to figure out which type this one is. A very easy experiment to run is to see if the soap dispenser will work if I use an inanimate object that doesn't have any body heat. If that works, we can rule out passive IR. So let's try it with a sink brush. Clearly the soap dispenser can detect the sink brush, so it's not using passive IR. So how can we tell if it's using active IR or active RF? Well, one fun fact I learned researching this is that your cell phone camera can pick up the IR light that's used in household gadgets. Uh, you can confirm this by pointing the cell phone camera at a remote control and pushing a button. So let's try pointing a cell phone camera at the soap dispenser and see if we see anything. First, I'm going to turn the lights out. Then I'm going to activate the soap dispenser. So you see the purple light there? Um, it's a little bit harder to see, but you can actually see this blinking constantly. And then when you, um, uh, after you activate it, it stays on solid for a few seconds, presumably to see how long you're keeping your hand there. Um, so that's the infrared diode emitting pulses of light. And so these soap dispensers are clearly the active IR type. Uh, like I said, my wife and I have gone through a number of these things and some of them have stopped working or just started behaving strangely. We have one at the sink for, for hand soap and one for dish soap. So I started to wonder if they could be interfering with each other, like could the IR light from one dispenser get detected by the other one and could it misinterpret that as a reflection? So I've tried to uh, try to create such a crosstalk problem with these two. If I point the IR diodes at each other but don't get them close enough to do a proximity detection, uh, you might imagine that they get confused. But um, so far, I haven't seen any evidence of misfiring soap dispensers due to crosstalk. So the designers must have anticipated this scenario and done a good job of rejecting it. Uh, maybe they're using the known timing of the LED pulse and making sure that they only trigger on a reflected signal that's synchronized to it. Uh, if they were really paranoid, they could have each um, soap dispenser put out like an 8-bit random code and only look for reflections of that 8-bit random code. Uh, I also find that detection is pretty reliable in complete darkness or bright sunlight, so they've obviously done a good job of replacing ambient, uh, rejecting ambient IR light. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this investigation of touchless soap dispensers, and I'll see you next time here at Coffee and Information.